popular garden gnomes. They're well endowed garden gnomes from Gnome Mine. Hey everyone, it's L123 here. I'm here with my brother Xnox Swag. Hello. We're gonna be playing some Jackbox games. And the first game we're gonna be playing is You Don't Know Jack Shit. I didn't say Jack Shit because it's supposed to be a pun. You don't know Jack Shit. Get right in. Hi, I'm Cookie Masterson, and not to brag, but the cashier at Trader Joe's complimented me on my choices today. Two players? What happened? Did you lose your pieces to Battleship? Everybody's got their screws. <laughs> Battleship. Worst movie ever made. Clueless, screw them, and make them answer immediately. If they miss it, you win extra cash. And our wrong answer of the game is brought to you by... The Anti-Pedestrian Council. Hey, I'm trying to drive here, is our motto. Sniff out our sponsor's wrong answer of the game and you'll end up with a great prize and serious cash. <laughs> All right, let's get this party started. Who's not the game, the black man is Brandon. This game is first. I'll tell you that. She mused mm. me. Yeah. If Taylor Swift broke up with every male currently in the world, about how many songs would she be inspired to write? 1.2 billion songs, 2.3 billion songs, 3.6 billion songs, or 7.4... Players 1 and 2? The world population is floating around 7.1 billion, of which 3.6 billion are males. Yes. That only gives her a few microseconds for each relationship, but that should be more than enough. Next, this question got stuck in my teeth. Who's hungry? Okay, <clears throat> this one's a bit violent. Don't shoot until you see the whites of their eyes. Okay, so I won't shoot anybody until I see their, uh, their, um, their pupils, their irises, their retinas, or their scleras. Player two? You got it. <laughs> no, you didn't. <laughs> Player one. Right, the white of your eye is called the sclera. Huh. Irises are the covers, pupils are the light. Like just fall in love. Retinas are the back of the eye. Take a stab at Cookie Masterson, the vocab guy. If Bill Nye the science guy learned nigh everything there was to know about science, what would be true of him? He would know nearly everything about science. He would know very little about science. He would know exactly player two. Nigh means near oh, or shit. nearly. Oh shit, the I got wrong. Bill Nye doesn't know everything about science is because he refuses to accept the cookie masters and unifying theory of quantum mechanics as the scientific fact that it is. But I guess people fear what they don't understand. Player one. Fuck. I now have evidence supporting my theory that you're not very smart. Not a smart person? Fuck you. Fuck you, cookie masters. Just kidding, Arthur. And now, okay. your mother smells like the jungle. What are you most likely to see Tarzan scrambling to buy at the last second on Mother's Day? A banana bouquet for Coco, banana candies for Kala, banana perfume for Chim Chim, or a calendar of banana pictures for Abu? Players 1 and 2? Kala <laughs> is the female ape who raised Tarzan in the jungle. Yes. His dad wasn't around much. He was too busy sitting around patting his chest with the backside of his hand every couple of minutes. My Say hello to Obesity the Game, and it's a dis or dat. Player <laughs> one. You seem to be behind a bit. This dis or dat is all yours. I'm gonna read off seven acronyms, and for each one, tell me if it's a type of healthcare plan or a type of video game. If it's a healthcare plan, press the X button. If it's a type of video game, press the B button. Player two, lock in your answer before player one, because if player one gets it wrong and you get it right, you steal the cash. All right, let's get started. 
HMO. MMO. PPO. POS. FPS. RTS. MOO. That was a big B O O. I can't afford to see a doctor, so I've just started asking the 12 year olds I play Call of Duty against online for medical advice. They said I should go f myself. They also called me an asshole, but my rash cleared up. That's round one. Keep in mind, all the prizes are doubled in round two. Should have hired a cat. Or hint, hint, the wrong answer of the game is still there for the taking. Let's see what's in store. Coming up next, Pussycat Control. Oh my god, my cat's poopsie and mayonnaise are driving me crazy. And what do I get from them? Nothing! If my cats were like the cat in the fairy tale Puss in Boots, what would they do for me? Grant me three wishes, help me kill a witch, impress my boss and get me a promotion, or help me break an ancient curse? Okay. Players one and two. In Puss oh, Puss makes press his X. master look good in front of the king, which results in him marrying the king's daughter, or becoming royalty. Yeah, right. Why don't you oh. two idiots ever do anything like that for me? Yeah. I haven't had a promotion in years. <coughs> I have not been stealing office supplies. Those are complimentary, damn it. How about that evidence was planters? If Mr. Peanut wanted to make some marzipan, which of his other nut friends could he grind up to produce the central ingredients? Mr. Hazelnut, Mrs. Almond, Miss Cashew, or Senor Brazil Nut? Player two. Player one. Bless you. Next time, try this. Marzipan is a confection made from sugar, eggs, and ground up Mrs. Almonds. Regular almonds work too. But Mr. Peanut would be found not guilty because he's a total n uh -oh. See, you thought I was gonna say nut, didn't you? No, it's a nice guy. He's a really nice guy. No one would believe the murder thing. Follow me down to the sea. Why not try where the buffalo foam? You know, I'm having a pretty good day, which means... Hello, Danny. Yep, there he is. One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so who's the dummy? Not me. Billy, why are you foaming at the mouth? I've got rabies and I've come to dice you. What? Stay away from me. Did you get bitten by a rabid animal? Maybe. Which of these animal dice could not give me rabies? A diva dice, a non-goose dice, a king cobra dice, or a dadger dice? Players one and two? Rabies only affects warm-blooded animals, not reptiles. Besides, you can't get diseases like this, Billy. You're made of wood. Really? Then how did I get syphilis? That's a good point. <laughs> the fuck, Billy? Here's one for you. Yoko has no remorse. What Beatles album am I describing? Let it be Yellow Submarine, Abbey Road, or Help. Player one, you're underwater on this one. <laughs> Player two, dot 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 dash 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 dot 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 in Morse code is SOS, the International Distress it. Call. <laughs> of course, if the Beatles ever got stranded, they'd need help from somebody, but not just from anybody, picky bastards. <laughs> Here we have F this. How would you read comedian Will Forte's name if it were accompanied by the musical notation Forte? Will Forte! Will Forte. Will Forte! Or Will 
forte. Players one and two. In music, forte means played loudly. Yeah. Unlike Will Forte's loud. quiet and nuanced performance in his Oscar-nominated film *MacGruber*. Jack Attack. This is the last round. Step right up to the jacket. Oh, do you need to be somewhere? I know yeah. the rules. Mm -hmm. The prodigy's son returns. They were prodigies. Prodigy in returns to the final of the show. Yes! I think I'm fighting her. <laughs> I had to do that. God damn it! I had to put that acting. <laughs> What's your name? Linguistics. Fuck! I think I smashed your tires. That was Pinball. Pinball Wizard. We all know what this guy is. Frolf. God damn it! Yes! I'm gonna push this one. Stall. Wait, just airbend. You bend all four of them. Yeah. It was. Player 2 is our winner! Player 2, this victory was inspirational. It makes me believe that even the biggest, stupidest moron can one day win a trivia game. You hold your head high, Player 2, and listen closely. You don't know Jack! It's like a game show that's real, it's so funny. I am Cookie Masterson, and I'm a people person. It's true, I'm actually made of millions of tiny little people. <laughs> Quiet down in there! Oh, that guy. Okay, you two, by the end of the game, you're gonna be lean, fit, and a whole other. hell of a lot smarter. It's very you easy to take care of those screws now. You can Is force another player to it's answer immediately by hitting your screw button. If they miss it, Joke. you get extra bonus dollars. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... Hoarder Helpers! Are you a hoarder? We're here to help you hoard more stuff. Absolutely no psychiatrist on staff. Find the wrong answer associated with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. Alright, let's do this thing. Get ready, time to crash it. That guy is still good at it. Yeah. Begin with London Bridges drunk. Falling yeah. Down. In the nursery rhyme, Wee Willy Winky, what's covering up Wee Willy Winky's Wee Willy? The nightgown he's wearing, the wolf suit he's wearing, the wooden shoe he's sailing in, or nothing, he's completely nude. Players one and two? I'm pretty sure you're thinking of Winkin, Blinkin, and Nod. Why are you doing that? <laughs> Want to see the answer? The first line of the nursery rhyme goes, Wee Willy Winky runs through the town, upstairs and downstairs, in his nightgown. He's wearing a nightgown. Presumably that's what's covering up his Wee Willy. Look, some nursery rhyme guys are showers, and some nursery rhyme guys are growers. This one's called, Zombies Never Get Old. What might you see in a television show called The Balking Dead? An army of zombies walking backwards, a horde of zombies walking in circles, a swarm of zombies walking on tiptoe, or a legion of zombies refusing to walk at all. 
Players one and two. Hey, way to be wrong. Here's what you're meant to pick. If the dead are balking, that means oh, they've stopped short fuck. or are refusing to move forward for some reason. Kind of like the plot of Walking Dead Season 2. Let's try. I'll preheat my oven to 450 degrees when I'm dead. And we're cooking up a dis or dat. Player 2. You seem to be behind, so why don't you play this dis or dat? I'm going to read off seven items, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a type of burial plot available in a cemetery, or if it's a type of tombstone frozen pizza. If it's a type of burial plot, press the X button. If it's a type of tombstone pizza, press the B button. Player one. Select your answer before player two, because if you get it right and player two gets it wrong, you get that cash. We good? Here we go. Single. Companion. Family. Double top. Half and half. Original. Brick oven style. That performance was dead right out of the gate. I'll take it. <laughs> when I die, I want to be cremated, but not just in any oven, in a pizzazz pizza oven. That way every part of me is cooked evenly. <laughs> Pretty sure that name is a nickname. The cookie part. Coming up, Zach and Miri make a board game. <laughs> What do Seth Rogen and the game Trivial Pursuit have in common? They were both created in the 70s, they were both created by a Jewish woman, they were both created in Canada, or they were both created by accident. Player 2? Well, I've seen worse. Player 1? Seth Rogen was born in Vancouver, Canada, and Trivial Pursuit yeah, was really created in Montreal, Canada. Yeah. And another thing Seth Rogen and Trivial Pursuit have in common? Ah, uh, no, that's about it. No, they're both trivial. No, they're not. Next up, Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, yeah. or Uranus? Steven Spielberg modeled one-third of E.T. after this subject. Kangaroo, Peanut, Albert Einstein, or Uranus? Player one. Ooh, ouch. Player two. This would have worked. E.T. Huh. was an amalgamation of Ernest Hemingway, Carl Sandburg, and Albert Einstein. Yeah, he definitely has Einstein's neck. <laughs> That brings it close to round one. Don't forget, all the questions in round two are worth double. And remember, you got those screws sitting there. You're being too nice. It's brutal. Try this on for size. I've been framed. So, I've been looking at this print of the Mona Lisa a lot lately, and people always talk about her little half smile, but I've become obsessed with something else. What the hell is the Mona Lisa looking at? Fuck. Goodness, player one, you're screwed. You got five seconds to give me an answer. Huh? huh? <laughs> well played, screw player two. <laughs> You want even more you cash? Do, do. Player two? Come on! Oh, Stop shit. messing around! Ah! Correct answer. I forgot that we're supposed yourself. to answer it. The Mona Lisa is looking I over to her left. <laughs> which is weird. Here, listen to the left. Most the pictures they do look to the left. They don't really Nobody's look at the camera. That interesting in years. Or at a person frames. Yeah, right? May I introduce what's black and black and black all over? 
If during a battle of wits with the Riddler, Batman were unable to solve the riddle of the Sphinx, what might the Riddler say That's to mock him? Though. Looks like you're not as smart as Oedipus, Batbrath. You're certainly no Anubis, Batbrain. You're d Player two, you've been screwed. You got five seconds. Sweet dreams. Uh. Player one, nicely screwed. Let's see if you can make this really hurt. Player one. Hate to disappoint you, but wait, no I don't. <laughs> Let me show you something. In the Greek play Oedipus the King, Oedipus is the only one capable of answering a devious riddle posed by a murderous sphinx. You know the Riddler has lost his touch when he starts asking riddles anyone could just look up on Wikipedia. Fuck her up for get your mind out of the gutter ball. It's the fucking choices into order than those in and see if you are right. Question. All right. And if you knock down a right answer here, I'll roll some extra cash your way. Put these bowling pin arrangements in order of most to fewest pins left standing. Seven ten split, dinner bucket, Christmas tree. Dinner bucket, Christmas tree, seven ten split, Christmas tree, seven ten split, dinner bucket, Christmas tree, dinner bucket, seven ten split, or dinner bucket, seven ten split, Christmas tree. Player two. <laughs> Player one. <laughs> So obvious. Hey. A dinner bucket is when there are four Why? pins left standing, the oh, two, so four, five, and eight pins. A Christmas tree is three the pins left standing, the either the two, the seven, and ten, or the three, seven, and ten. And in a seven, ten split, the there are, of course, two pins two left standing, the seven and ten pins. All those numbers hurt my brain. That's why I usually let the bowling computer do it for me. I also let the bowling computer do my taxes. <laughs> That's probably bad, I could eat. I call this one, All Men Must Die, somewhere around episode 9. If the leading cause of death in the Game of Thrones universe were the same as the leading cause of death in the modern world, what spoilerish comment would you most likely read on the internet? Hey, did you know Arya dies of malaria? Jon Snow gets killed in a car crash, for reals. Yep. Player 1, check please. Fuck. Player 2, Killing 7 million people a year, heart disease is the leading cause of death worldwide. Of course, as we know, the actual leading cause of death in Game of Thrones is struggling to be a 20-something in New York. Oh, wait, that's, that's girls. I always get HBO shows mixed up. <laughs> that's hilarious. Here's a good one. Melts in your pretty mouth. Based on the gender roles assigned by the Mars Company, which M&M's character could give birth to an M&M's mini? Red, yellow, blue, or I know green? Players one and two. For whatever reason, red, yellow, orange, and blue M&M's are male, and brown and green are female. It's the female ones that have nuts that confuse me. You do not want to be in the hospital room when an M&M gives birth. Sure, they melt in your mouth, not in your hands, but I'm telling you, those mini M&Ms are pretty melty when they come out of the birth canal. Well, oh, I'll just shut my mouth then. Here's your clue. Getting the beast of me. What animal are you surrounded by? Good luck. Okay. Nope. Nope. Yes. Damn 
Episode.